Mage is a technique developed in the church lab that allows you to install all combinations of a set of specific genome edits to produce a library of organisms. More generally, it is one of the recent power tools for making many edits to a genome. It is most useful for improving the production of chemicals by MCF organisms. There are many degrees to which we can target modifications to a genetic design to improve its performance. At one end of the spectrum are entirely random approaches. Subjecting a cell to chemical mutagens such as MNNG will introduce random point mutations to the genome. If you screen enough mutants, you typically will find something that boosts performance. Transposon mutagenesis similarly involves random modifications to the genome. Here you transfer a DNA that inserts itself into random sites of the genome. Whenever the transposon inserts into a gene, its function is ablated by disruption of the protein sequence. Homologous recombination, also called recombineering or often specifically lambda red mutagenesis, involves using synthetic oligonucleotides to target modifications to a specific site of the genome. Thus, it is a highly specific method allowing you to make precision modifications to the genome. MAGE is a technique developed by George Church's lab that marries the randomness of chemical and transposon mutagenesis with the precision of homologous recombination. It uses the same chemistries as homologous recombination techniques, but you do many such knockouts in parallel and have control over the sequence identity of each modification in the library. It allows you to examine all the combinations of a set of genome ed edits as a library. In this paper, Wang and co-workers show that you can rapidly improve the production of a secondary metabolite through MAGE and screens. In the E. coli MAGE experiment, you start with a strain engineered with the lambda red genes from the phage and a mutation to the mute S gene. One of the reasons people like to work with E. coli is that it does homologous recombination inefficiently. Introducing DNAs are thus very stable in the organism. When you add the lambda red genes, this functionality is provided and homologous recombination becomes highly efficient. The MUDES knockout prevents the repair of mismatches in the genome, thereby increasing the efficiency of the process. In the MAGE method, you transform these cells with single-stranded DNAs. During replication, a transient dissociated DNA exists at the site of replication forks. The oligo can anneal to the DNA in these regions and become incorporated into the sequence. Operationally, MAGE involves in silico methods to design a set of oligos that are synthesized by conventional methods. The cells are repeatedly electroporated with this mix of oligos, and at each step a small fraction of the cells picks up another one of these mutations. After doing this perhaps 10 times, a large number of mutations accumulate in each genome. In this study, they choose 24 chromosomal targets that they anticipate are related to production of their target chemical, and they design an oligo for each site, and then use this bag of oligos to do MAGE. The target in this study was lycopene production, which involves addition of the CRTE, CRTB, and CRTI genes from another bacterium. It is a terpenoid that branches off of FPP. They choose mutations to all the genes upstream of FPP, as well as others related to terpenoid production. From the MAGE library, they screened individual colonies for increased pigment production. Lycopene is a convenient target in this study because it is a chromophore, and its production can be read out by just looking at the color intensity of a colony. However, most chemicals we produce do not have this property and are more difficult to screen. When the phenotype in question is readily screenable, MAGE is an excellent choice for optimization. In addition to the lambda red bioware in MAGE, there is also an automation setup. The manipulations involve growing a population of cells to an appropriate concentration, inducing the allelic replacement machinery inside the cells, removing the growth media, introducing pools of DNA into the cells by electroporation, and finally recovering the cells for the next iteration of the cycle. The cycle time is about two hours and can generate genetic modifications in as much as 30% of the entire population every cycle. Here we see the next generation apparatus for performing MAGE. It contains environmentally controlled growth chambers, anti-fouling fluidic systems, and buffer exchange units, and an automated electroporation device to introduce DNA into cells continuously.